Hey there everyone, welcome to MRTB, Mitch Reads the Bible. You are here with me in my office, not my school office, this is my my church office. That's why it's got all my um, cool books there and why it's like absolutely a pigsty because I'm the only person who uses it so I just can keep it in whatever way that I want. I've got no mum or no wife or no kids to tell me to clean up. So suck on that, all those people that tell me what to do with my life. Um, I should clean it up sometimes because it's disgusting. Anyway, Mitch reads the Bible. I'm just about to read the Bible to you. Our reading for today is from John chapter 13. Here we go. John chapter 13, verse 31. When he was gone, Jesus said, Now, the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once. My children... I love that that line, my children. Um, it's as if Jesus is saying, like he's writing to his disciples, but by extension, he's writing to you. He's saying, I know you, I understand you, and I look at you as if you were my very own children. Uh, I heard a quote from Pope Francis recently where he said, God never disowns his children. <laughs> There's this picture that, that when God looks at you, he sees a precious unique individual child. So Jesus says, my children, I'll be with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And just as I told the Jews, so now I tell you where I'm going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another as I have. It's been something that Jesus has been doing as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples. If you love one another. Ah, uh, I think one of the greatest human fears, the fears of, of all humans, and it's probably the most terrifying fear that plagues humans, is the thought that maybe for some reason we will be unloved. Uh, that we will never find someone who will love us completely for who we are. I remember I had this fear in high school. I was probably like in the middle of high school, maybe from like year eight, nine, like year eight, nine and 10, maybe this was it. I genuinely thought that maybe I would never find anyone that loves me, um, that loved me for me. I, I tell you, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I actually have like a relatively large nose and a crooked, a large kind of crooked nose. And I promise you from about year eight, nine, like from year eight, nine and 10, I was genuinely worried that I would never find someone who loves me because of my nose. You know, the, the, the no one would, would ever want to be my girlfriend because of this one, like, random detail about myself. It seems so silly now, like, that I would genuinely be worried about that. But I want to bet that I'm not unique in that. I imagine that you, any of you listening to this right now, that there is something about you that you worry, that makes you worry, that maybe someone won't love you. Or you won't be loved by someone. Maybe it's not, maybe it is your physical appearance. Maybe it's not your nose. Maybe it's your ears. Maybe it's your eyes. Maybe it's your hair. Maybe it's, it's, it's something else to do with you. Maybe it's not the way you look. Maybe it's, it's something that you've done in your past and you, and you're nervous. If someone found out, then they wouldn't love you, um, completely. Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's the way that you feel. It's something that's deep inside of you and you, you worry about that and you wonder and you feel like maybe that, particular thing makes you unlovable. My hunch is, and I think this is absolutely true, that all of us, when we're alone, when we're just with our thoughts, we have this fear, we have this anxiety that maybe um, we are unloved. Now, now, the silly thing about all of this is, uh, is this. When I was in year eight, nine, and 10, I 100% was loved deeply. <laughs> I just didn't notice it. Um, I was loved deeply by my mom and my dad. They loved me so much. I was loved deeply by my brothers and my sister. I was loved deeply by my cousins. I was loved deeply by the church community that surrounded me. I had all these sources of love around me, but I wasn't trained to see them. And above all of that, I was loved deeply and cherished by the God and creator of the entire universe. 
yeah, I am here to tell you that you are loved. You are loved by God. You are loved by Jesus. You will never be unloved, no matter how you feel, no matter what has happened to you, no matter what people have said about you, you are loved and you are loved for you. But I think what this passage says to me uh, is this. It says, wherever there is a Christian in the world, there shouldn't be anyone in that immediate vicinity that feels unloved. Wherever there is a Christian, there should be no one who feels unloved. Yeah, like, I think there are people out there who, when they look around them, they find themselves alone and afraid and, and cast off to the side. And they feel genuinely unloved. And maybe they are unloved by everyone else. But this passage says that whenever there is a Christian, that person should at least have one person and know that one person loves them. Because the whole centerpiece of being a Christian is loving the people around you. Jesus says, as I have loved you, so you should love your brothers and sisters. And who are your brothers and sisters? They are all the children of God, everyone that God has created. Where there is a Christian, people should never feel unloved. So at Belmont Christian College, there should be no person here that ever feels or worries that they will be unloved. Because to be a Christian college is to make sure every single person in this college feels and knows that they are loved. Because love is at the center of Christianity. You are loved by God, and therefore you are loved by the Christians who follow that loving God. Are you following me? Don't you ever be worried about feeling unloved because of the way you look. You will be loved and you are loved. Don't you ever f worry about being unloved because of something that is inside of you because you are known and you are loved by God and by the Christians. Don't you ever worry about being unloved because of something that you have done, because you are loved and you are known by God, and therefore you should be loved and known by the Christians as well. Love, the center of all things. If you love one another, um, you love God. Uh, that's in 1 John, actually not in this passage. But anyway, we'll read that another week. Grace and peace, everyone. Mitch reads the Bible. <laughs>